beg you. Hi, Fred. <laughs> Freddy. Say, Pat, what, what was the matter with Freddy? The same thing that's the matter with Gil and Dewey. The same thing that's the matter with, with every other male in this network today. Well, there's nothing the matter with me. <laughs> Not yet. You know what? I just noticed something. You're even cuter when you frown a little bit. Mr. Brown wants to see you. Oh, well, look, I don't know why you're upset, but I hope you're over it by the time I get out of Mr. Brown's office. Remember, we've got a date tonight. I remember. I wonder if you will by the time you get out of that office. Come in. Mickey, don't go in there. Why not? I'm afraid the same thing will happen to you that happened to Freddie and Gil. What do you mean? I said come in. Well, it was nice knowing you. Close the door. Yes, sir. I have a special assignment for you. Yes, sir, Mr. Brown. None of the other pages have been able to qualify for this assignment. I think you have the stuff to carry it off successfully. Well, thank you very much. I hope I haven't misplaced my confidence in you. I'm sure you haven't. What is my assignment, sir? Right over there. Oh, Saunders. In person? Hello there. Steady, boy. Oh, Saunders. The shape. That's right. I just pulled the greatest stunt in the history of television. I signed the movie's number one box office attraction for her first appearance on television. Mona Saunders. Mulligan. Yeah, Mulligan! <laughs> Don't go to pieces on me, boy. You'll disqualify yourself. No, sir. I'm, I'm not going to disqualify myself. Huh? Hey. Huh? Hello? Huh? And what's your name? What's, what's, what's my name? What's my name? My, my, my name's Mickey Mulligan. Yeah, that, that's what I think it is. I just, uh, my, my name is Mickey Mulligan, I, I think. I'm very happy to meet you, Mickey. Uh -huh. And I'm sure we're going to get along famously. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing fine. Devlin fainted at this point. I'm made of st sterner stuff. I didn't faint. I just blacked out for a second. I think you'll make the grade, because I happen to know there's only one girl in your life, Pat Harding. That's right. No one will ever take the place of Pat Harding. That's sweet. Wait till I give him the full test. She hasn't asked him for the drink of water yet. How's he doing? All right, I think you'll do. You'll be Miss Saunders' guide and attendant for the next four days while she's rehearsing for a television appearance. Four, four days? Yes, sir. Do you think you're up to it? I hope, hope I'm up to it, sir. I hate to impose on you, Mickey, but... Well, you see, I'll be sort of a prisoner in the studio. Oh. If she went outside, she'd risk being mobbed by her fans. So you'll have to tend to her needs. Bring her coffee, lunch, anything she desires. I understand. Uh, could I have a glass of water, please? Oh, here it comes. He hasn't got a chance. You can do it, Mickey. Mulligan. <laughs> Steady, boy. Thank you, Mickey. He made it. Oh, what did you expect? You know, Miss Saunders, I remember seeing you in a picture once where you were sipping champagne just like that. Gosh, I was so, so taken by it, I ate my candy bar without even taking the wrapper off. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, oh. Drop the glass, just like I did. Now they're going to give him the cigarette test. This is murder. This is where I washed out. 
Do you have a cigarette, Mickey? Cigarette, yes, ma'am. Well, Mickey, I'm afraid I don't smoke cigars. Not in public, anyway. I'm really sorry. Excuse me. Thank you, Mickey. Oh, the light. Yes, ma'am. For heaven's sake, Mickey. Excuse, excuse me. This is your big test, and you're flunking it. I'm not going to flunk it, believe me. <laughs> Steady, boy. Mr. Brown, you want it in the publicity department. All right, Pat, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Brown, sir, I accept the assignment. Miss Saunders, I'll show you to your dressing room. It's a pleasure, Mickey. studying her script, Fred. You uh, think maybe I can uh, get a little peek inside, Mick? Not a chance. Oh, come on, Mick. Just one little peek, Fred. I, I want to rev up my morale for the rest of the week. <laughs> Listen, I've been stationed outside here to see that Miss Saunders does not get bothered by anybody. Oh, come on. Let's not be a hug about it, Mick. All I want is one... No, no, no. Now, look, Fred, you're being very adolescent. She's just like anybody else, just a, an everyday person. Just like everybody else? That's right. Oh, come on now, Charlie. <laughs> I have been stationed outside here to protect Miss Saunders' life and limb. Yeah. What limbs? <laughs> I haven't noticed. You, have, you haven't noticed? No. Oh, come on. You know what I think? I think you've fallen for her. Fallen for her? That's right. What? Fred, look, all this is to me is just a job. It's nothing more than a job. Mickey! Can you come in here, please? Oh, right away, Miss Saunders. Steady, boy. Steady, steady. <laughs> Freddy, I'll, uh, I'll go in now and, and go to work. Sure be glad when this day is over. You call for me, Miss Saunders? Mona, Mickey, Mona. M Mona? Mickey, would you come over here and sit beside me? I need your help. You, you need my help for what? Yes. I wonder if you can help me read the script and read Brett's lines for me so I can see if I can remember mine. You're having trouble remembering your lines? Gosh, after all of those pictures you've been in? <laughs> Movies are on live television. Uh, I guess it is pretty tough. Oh, I, I'm frightened. I, I just realized more people are going to see me in this one appearance than saw me in my last three movies. I, I never thought of it that way. I could look like an awful dope out there day after tomorrow. Well... I, I'm sure you can do it, Miss uh, Mona. I, I'll read Brett's lines for you. Okay, now let's set the scene, Mickey. Now I'm standing here in my shell-ridden southern mansion. You come through the door. I come right. through the door. Mm -hmm. right. Now you're a southern officer returning from the Battle of Atlanta. Yeah. Your right arm has been wounded, and you're carrying it in a sling. Right? Okay. I see. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Now I come through the door. Uh -huh. right. I knock on the door, it says here. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Can it be you, Brett? It's me, Lavinia, and I am home. Oh, Brett. You're wounded. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am wounded. I was one of the lucky ones, Lavinia. Well, at least you're back. And that's more than I ever hoped for. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not afraid anymore. Not now that you're here. Oh, let me feel your strong arms around me. Hmm? Let me look up into your eyes. Brad, as long as there are people like you and me, as long as there are people... Uh, what's my next line? Hmm? Oh. Uh, as long as there are people like you and me. Oh. We'll build a new nation out of ashes. Mickey. And the uh, free measure of the unafraid walk. Mickey. Yeah, this is pretty good. How does it end? <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry. Did, 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 I, did I throw you? No, Mickey, you were fine. I'm the one having the trouble. Oh, well, you were doing great, I thought. Oh, I wish I had your confidence, Mickey. But the thought of the television camera, 
50 million viewers? I don't know. No, excuse me, not 50 million viewers, no. There's just about four people in a living room, that's all. You wouldn't be afraid of four people in a living room now, would you? After all, television's just like visiting people at their house, and you wouldn't get stage fright by visiting people, would you? No, I... I guess I never thought of it that way. Of course you never thought about it that way. Look, let's try it again, huh? And, and I'll bet you get every line right. Believe me, I've got confidence in you, Mona. Mickey. Yes? You're wonderful. You didn't think it could happen to you, did you? You and the sheep. I wonder if you should ask her to give up her career. Or maybe it'd be better if she went on with her career and you... and you managed her. <laughs> to Mickey. Gratefully with love. Lavinia. <laughs> Imagine her falling for you. You're not exactly what people call handsome. No, but there's character there. Yes, even, even magnetism. <laughs> now, I wish you'd speak to Michael about taking so long getting dressed in the morning. Oh, he's been acting strange. Did you know he got a manicure yesterday? A manicure? Michael? Shh. Don't let on we noticed anything. La, 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 mom and pop. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, dear. Good morning, mom and pop. Why? Don't you look uh, elegant? <laughs> Did you know you broke the world's endurance record for staying in the shower this morning? Well, Pop, I was trying out my new shampoo. Notice how it's getting a wave in my hair? Hey, now, do we have to have that fly spray with breakfast? Joe, I, I don't know what... Oh, it's you, Michael. Of course, it's my new aftershave lotion. Elegant, isn't it? Huh? Oh, it's fine. It's really elegant. Yeah. A little strong, isn't it? Say, how much did that manicure set you back? A dollar, but it's worth every cent of it, Pop. Michael, you're not touching your breakfast. I'm not hungry this morning. Not hungry? You usually eat like there's no tomorrow. What's the matter, son? Are you sick? Sick? No, I'm not sick, Pop. I feel fine. Sounds like love to me. Of course it's love. He's in love with Pat, but that never kept him from eating before. There's a few things that I'm not at liberty to tell you right at the present time, but I can say this. In the very near future, there's going to be a big event take place in my life. <laughs> what are you trying to tell us? Does it have anything to do with that manicure? There's just one thing. You parents are going to have to realize that the day comes when your children grow up. Michael, are you going to get married? I'm not prepared to say. There are a lot of details to be ironed out. I've got to run, Freddy. I'll be late for work. <laughs> Say, Pat. Yes, Mr. Brown? I was wondering if you... <laughs> you are Pat, right? My secretary? Yes, sir. Well, what on earth have you done to yourself? I've decided it's time for a little redecoration. But why? I'm fighting fire with fire. You mean Mona Saunders? Mickey's with her all the time. She's brainwashing him. And I've got to protect my interests. Oh, Pat, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're wrong. I was talking to Mona about Mulligan last night. She says he's doing a very good job. As far as she's concerned. I'll go on record in saying that Mona Saunders doesn't stand a chance of winning Mickey Mulligan away from you. Even if she wanted him, which she doesn't. Do you really believe that? I'll bet my life on it. <whistles> oh, Mr. Brown. And that's Pat, all right. Well, I thought this was your day off, Pat. That's tomorrow. What are you all dressed up like that for? <laughs> Don't you approve? Well, it's very nice, yes, but... More for Mona Saunders, I suppose. Yes, more for Mona Saunders. When it comes to tact... Oh. What did I say? Oh. 
Minky, are those roses for me? What flowers? They're for Mona Saunders, aren't they? <laughs> well, to tell the truth, yes, they are. You see, Mona, she likes roses in her dressing room. And, well, you can have them after she gets through with them, Pat. I wanted you to be the first to know. You see, when Mona met me, well, something magic happened. You might say that fate brought us together. It's my destiny. After all, Mona and me, zing. I appreciate all in the past that you've done for me, but I'm assured that in the future that we'll both think of you as one of our dear and loving friends. Say that you will. It means my very life. Marry you? Oh, of course I'll marry you. Thought that you were still in love with that young Colonel. No, you're the one. The only one. She kisses Brett passionately, fade out. Commercial. Oh, that's a relief. I know the whole script. But you, you didn't miss a line, Miss Saunders. Thanks to you. Mickey, you'll never know how grateful I am to you for helping me through this. I understand. That's why I wanted to talk to you about something. About what? Well, about us. I've been thinking it. Oh, Lafayette, baby. Have I been neglecting you? Mickey, would you be a dear and take him out for his constitutional? His constitutional? Well, well, can't it wait? I don't want Lafayette to get a complex. Just once around the block should do it. Yeah, but, well, uh, the whole future oh, of please, our... please, Mickey. Lafayette. I am here. So <laughs> well, that's the girl Michael's planning to marry, hmm? Say, that'd make me her father-in-law. Joe oh, Mulligan, put down that picture and come back to our side. I just brought it to show you what type of woman Mickey's involved with. Unbelievable. Oh, that accounts for the manicure and the aftershave. I can still smell it. I never thought Mickey would fall for someone like that. It's impossible. Well, then why did he tell me he's going to marry her? Oh, Pat, just think for a moment. A big movie star like Mona Saunders wouldn't marry Michael in a million years. Oh, he's just infatuated with her, like any other red-blooded American boy. I don't like the way this Mona person is breaking up Michael and Pat. Yes, but what are we going to do about it? There's a lot we can do about it. Joe, get your hat. All right. Naturally, we're very upset. Mickey and I? That's absurd. Absurd or not, Michael's already told Pat that he's through with her. No, oh, Mrs. Mulligan, I'm awfully sorry. But you see, Charles, it happens every time. I was sure Mickey was different. I didn't expect him to crack up. Do you mind if I finish putting on my makeup while we talk? Oh, that's all right, Miss Saunders. Go right ahead. Thank you, Mr. Mulligan. We have a camera run through in 15 minutes. Well, the question is, what are we going to do about this? Yes, after the show tonight, Miss Saunders, you'll walk right out of Michael's life. But where does that leave Pat? Mrs. Mulligan, I think too much of Mickey to hurt him. But you'll never know the help he's been to me. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. I should have sent in a replacement for him this morning when I smell that aftershave lotion. Do you really think you can save the situation? I'm sure I can. It'll be a little rough on Mickey, but I guarantee it'll work. Miss Saunders, you're wanted on stage. Coming. Hope you'll pardon me. I have to change. But I'll take care of Operation Mickey right after the show. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm happy to have met you, Miss Saunders. Pleasure was all mine, Sergeant Mulligan. Uh, Joe. Huh? It's later than you think. Bye. Good luck, Mulligan. Thank you. It's too bad we can't see the show from backstage, but you'd make too much noise. Yes, you would, Lafayette. Yes, you would, but never mind. We can watch it right here from the dressing room, from that television set. Gee, this show goes on in just a few minutes, too. We got time for a little rest, though. Say, tell me. Tell me, what kind of a, what kind of a wedding do you think we ought to have? A big one or a small one? Maybe just an intimate wedding with just a few friends invited. The Associated Press, Luella, and a Life magazine. 
look. Thank you, Barry. Good night. Good night. And thank you, Mickey. What are you thanking me for? Because without your help and confidence, I never could have gone on tonight. Oh, well, you don't have to worry about that. You'll always have confidence because I'll always be at your side. <laughs> it's strange, this wonderful thing that's happening to both of us. Well, what, what's happened to us? Well, it's hard to explain. It's just... Mystic and magical. Oh, really? Hmm. Say, uh, Mona, what do you think of, uh, private weddings? You know, with just a few intimate friends? <laughs> and then, of course, we should have our honeymoon someplace along the Riviera. It would have to be the Riviera for someone as beautiful as you. I think the Riviera would be wonderful. That's the place, all right. You, me, and little Lafayette. Oh, I'm glad I don't have to wear this glamour 24 hours a day. What do you mean? Well, I was just thinking that, oh, you know... Oh, Mona. Wait a minute. How about your glamour? What about our honeymoon? Well, I... Do you think we should take the children with us? Children? I have two, a boy and a girl. Two children you have? Yes, and I think maybe we should go right over to my house now and tell my husband. Your husband? The father of my children, yes. And I think he'll be very broad-minded about this. Oh, gosh, excuse me, Mona. I, I didn't realize. I didn't Mickey, think that... Mickey, do you honestly think you're in love with me? I, I don't know. You didn't fall for me? You fell for a million dollars worth of publicity, tons of makeup, and a wardrobe. Maybe you're right. Gosh, I... I must appear to be a... an awful fool to you. Now, don't say that. Listen, you gave me a tip that helped me with my television show. Now, let me give you one. Don't let Pat get away from you. Yeah, Pat. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Pat, I was just looking for you. I've been such a fool. Could you, could you ever forgive me? Mickey Rooney will be back in just a moment. Sponsor. Well, folks, that was the good word from my sponsors. We'll be bringing you our next show. Be with us then, won't you? Incidentally, about Mona. I hope I never make a fool of myself like that again. I've learned my lesson. I'm never going to be starstruck again, believe me. Oh, Mick, yes. Mona told me to give you this. Thanks, Gil. Her beautiful picture. It says, To Mickey with love, Mona. With love.